It was an incredible season for the Burn Hills Boston Lake Field hockey team. The Spartans won their fourth straight Section 2 title and also made their second trip to the state Final Four in three years. Over that span, BHBL has had one constant, Brittany Ryan in net. And as Edge reporter Jason Lewis tells us, her journey also includes a unique ride. Her playing style is fierce. Brittany Ryan has been a wrecking force in the net for the Spartans and has played on varsity since eighth grade. This season, she even went out with a bang, allowing just 11 goals on the year. It's definitely so much fun for me. It's I love it. It's a passion. She takes a tremendous amount of pressure off of us, us coaches, and um, she gets the job done. But when she's not on the field, Ryan's still a competitor. It's a sport foreign to many in the capital region, rodeo. My instructor has a, had a career in rodeo, a great career, and she introduced me to rodeo and the whole lifestyle, and I fell in love with it. And as soon as I was old enough and ready to go fast enough, she put me ragging and provided me horses, and it was, I loved it from the start. <laughs> Good girl. Ryan competes in four events, pole bending, barrel racing, goat tie, and breakaway rope. I'm it. But it's the relationship with her horse, Annie, that fuels her passion most. The companionship of a horse and that relationship that you build and the trust that you have to have in that thousand pound animal <laughs> um, to be able to get up on its back. And uh, I, I mean, that aspect of it is definitely my favorite part. Good girl. And the life skills she's gained from her riding have paid off outside of the arena as well. I think it's helped me a lot, especially my academics, to have a set time of when I have to be able to do something and a certain amount of time that I spend at the barn and stuff like that. It's, it's good. Helping Ryan continue her athletic career in college, where she'll be suiting up for Mansfield University. And Jason is here, back from the rodeo. <laughs> have fun out there? It was a lot of fun. It was really cool to see mm -hmm. all the elements of the actual riding as opposed to what you'd, you'd see on TV, I guess you could say. And she's going to be competing uh, within the capital region very soon, right? Right. Well, mm -hmm. not very, very soon, but in May, um, that's yeah. when she competes at Double M, and that's in Boston Spa. Mm -hmm. And then the following week in Fonda on the 20th and 21st is their state championship. So hopefully, mm -hmm. you know, she got almost there in field hockey, and we'll see if she could actually claim that one in her rodeo. What did she start first, field hockey or rodeo? I'm not sure what she started first. Both were young. She started riding when she was seven, and then as soon as she could get up to speed, she would just get going, and that's when she started competing at a higher level. Which event did you like the most? You know, <laughs> Which one excites you? Because you worked out of Texas where you're familiar with the road. I am familiar with the road. Barrel mm -hmm. racing is pretty crazy because uh -huh. it's very quick running around those barrels and right. stuff, but I had never actually seen the roping, which actually we can see <laughs> behind me, and that was right. the really cool thing. Uh, last time we checked on uh, the Amsterdam State Semi-Final, they were behind. A few minutes left in the game. Let's look at the final, and Amsterdam was not able to come back against Our Lady of Lords. So the season for the Rugged Rams is over one stop shy of the Carrier Dome, so they will be stuck on two state championships. Not bad. And Jason, uh, volleyball state semis tomorrow, you're going to be up in Glens Falls. Absolutely. And for the first time ever, five teams from Section 2 will be competing tomorrow, one in each classification. So it'll be exciting to see if any of them can get to the finals on Sunday. We'll look forward to those highlights tomorrow night, and we'll see you back here on The Edge on Monday.